All right, so I have all of my files open here. American Flag, Cowboy, Fireworks, Ford Galaxy, Jackie Robinson, Lewis and Clark, Money, and Teddy Roosevelt. These are the files that I'm going to use in the poster. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the actual document. So I'll go to File and then New. Up here I'm going to call this um, American Night Poster. The width of the poster is going to be 29 inches. Make sure you're set to inches, not pixels. The height is going to be 40 inches. And the resolution is going to be 300 pixels per inch. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK right here. And the first thing I'm going to do is double click on my background layer. And I'll call this BG. And I'm going to change my color. Give myself like a dark blue here. Take my paint bucket. So if you're on the gradient tool, you can switch to the paint bucket by clicking and holding on that icon. I'll fill this with that blue. OK. So now I'm going to go to cowboy.jpg and I'm going to take my move tool and I'm going to move this up to American Night Poster and then down and then let go. This image is tiny, so we can't actually use this silhouette, uh, this image, but what we can do is we can trace it. So I'm going to hit Command T, Transform. I'm going to hold down the Shift key and I'll click and drag. And then I'll just try and center it and then I'll press Return. And here we have our cowboy. So now I'm going to just rename this to Cowboy Temp. And then I'm going to create a new layer. And on this, I'm going to call this Cowboy. I'll just call it Cowboy. I'm going to switch to my pen tool and I'm going to hit Command Plus to zoom in here. And I'll hold down the space bar and I'll click and drag. I'm going to start here at the bottom and I'm going to use the pen tool to trace this character. So I'm going to start maybe down here. And I'll just click and let go, click and let go. And then starting right here, I'm going to click and just drag out just a tiny bit on these handles. Just click and drag a little bit. zoom in here I don't, I'm not worried about being precise. Uh, I just want to get the rough outline of this character. We just want the silhouette. Don't want to spend too much time. Now if you do make a mistake, you can go back and edit this if need be. Right there, I just made a mistake. So I just hit uh, Command Option Z to step backwards. So right here, I've got a problem. So what I'll do is I'll hold down the Option key. I'll click and drag on this handle right here. I bring that down. And then I'll just continue.
I'll just come around here. And my handles are going to get smaller as I get to this fine detail work around the fingers here. And then I can make larger handles here, smaller around this corner. And I'm not going to worry about this area in here. I'm just going to pretend like that arm is right up against his jacket. How low are we going to go? Okay. Okay, almost there. Okay, let's zoom out and take a look at what we have here. All right, I'm going to right click and go to make selection. And I'll go to, I'll just use the default settings here and hit okay. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to save this selection. I don't want to lose it. So I'll go to select save selection and we'll call this cowboy 1. Now when I was using the pen tool, my layers got switched over to the selection view. So I'm just going to click right here and go to kind. And now I have all my layers back again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the visibility on cowboy temp. So now I just have my selection here and I'm still on the cowboy layer and I'm going to make sure I have a black color right here on my uh, color picker. And I'll switch to my paint bucket, and I'm just going to fill that in with black. Okay. And then I'm going to hit Command D to deselect. I'm going to hit Command plus to zoom in here. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just zoom in a little bit further and check and make sure everything looks okay. I think it does. Yeah. So I'll zoom back out. What I want to do next is I want to create um, different sections of this silhouette so we can put add images to it. So I'm going to go to this icon right here, and this is our rectangle tool. I'm going to switch down to the line tool right here. And then up here, um, you want to make sure that your fill color doesn't matter, but the stroke color should be set to white. Okay. Um, and over here you want to set your width to 100 pixels. Alright, so I'm going to hold down the shift key, I'll click and drag and just create a line right here and then I'll press return and I'm going to take my move tool, I'm going to move this line over and just kind of split this guy right down the middle. I'm going to go back to the line tool and I'm going to start right at the top of this line and click and drag up and just go to his uh, jacket collar. I'll press return and then I'm going to take the line tool again I'm going to go from this side and go out and just kind of split his collar. So now I'm going to just draw a horizontal line so I'm going to hold down the shift key and click and drag going this way press return click and drag going this way, press return, click and drag here, return, and then down here towards the bottom, I'll click and drag right here, press return, and then I'll click and drag maybe right here like this. So now I have a whole bunch of shapes here and I'm going to rasterize these shapes 
So I'm going to right click and go to rasterize layer and that's going to con just convert it to a pixel layer. And I'll just do that to each layer. Right click, go to rasterize layer. Okay. I'll start at the top layer right here. I'm going to hit Command E and collapse all these layers together. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to my paint bucket and I'll flip this color from black to white. I'll fill in the rest of this with white. All right, so now what I have is I have um, a mask that I can, I can use this uh, to cut out sections so I can add images to each of these panels here. So for example, if I switch this layer from normal to screen, now you can see what's going on below this layer right here. So I'm going to go back to normal and I want to add just one more line I think right here. So I'll switch to my line tool, I'll hold down shift, click and drag a line right here, and then press return. All right, I'll right click on this, go to rasterize layer, and I'll right click again and go to merge down. All right, now I'm gonna switch this cowboy layer from normal to screen. Okay, so the next step is to drag over the other images inside of the silhouette of this character. So I'm going to start with the American flag and I'm going to make sure that I'm on the uh, middle layer here, Cowboy Temp. So I'll go to American flag, I'll switch to my move tool and I'm going to click on this American flag, drag it up to American Knight poster and then drag it down and then let go. So right here I'm just going to place the American flag like so. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on this and call this flag. Okay, so now I'm going to switch to the cowboy layer. And I'm actually going to lock this layer because I don't want to change anything on this layer. So I'm going to click on the lock button right here. And then I'm going to take my uh, magic wand tool. So make sure you're on the magic wand tool, not the quick selection tool. And I'm going to click inside of the cowboy hat area of the character. Now I'm going to go up to select and go to inverse. Now I can see that there's a shortcut here, shift command I. So we'll just do that next time. But for now, I'll just select inverse. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to the flag layer and then press delete. Now if I turn off the visibility on the cowboy layer, you can see it's just got the uh, flag inside that selection area. So I'm going to turn the uh, cowboy layer visibility back on and then we'll go to the next image. So I'm going to hit command D to deselect and I will close the American flag and I'm going to close the cowboy. And the next thing we're going to go to is Lewis and Clark. So I'm going to take my move tool move this up to American Knight poster, move it down, and then let go. I'll hit Command Plus to zoom in. And I'm just going to move this a tiny bit here. I'll maybe hit Command T and hold down Shift and scale this down a tiny bit. Press Return. All right. Move this up a tiny bit. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to rename this to LC for Lewis and Clark. And then I'll go to the cowboy layer. I'll take my magic wand tool, select this area, then hit Shift Command I to select the inverse. I'll switch to the LC layer and press delete. All right, moving right along. So we're going to go to Lewis and Clark right here and we'll close that. And then the next image we're looking for is fireworks. 
Actually, before we do that, we need to deselect this. So I'm going to hit Command D to deselect. I'll go to Fireworks over here, hit the Move tool. I'll move this up to American Night Poster, move it down, drop it right here on the silhouette. It's going to find a maybe something like this. Okay. So go to the Cowboy layer, take my Magic Wand tool, select this. Hit Shift Command I to invert the selection. I'll switch here to layer one and press delete. And then I'm going to double click on this layer and we'll call this fireworks. I'll hit Command D to deselect. And I'm going to go to the fireworks image and close that. And I'll go to Teddy Roosevelt next. I'll take my move tool, move this up to American Night, move it down, and let go. And let's see, I'll move my canvas a little bit here. I'm going to hit Command T and scale this down. Move this over a little bit. And then I'll press, let's see, I'm going to scale it down a little bit more. Press return, and then I'm going to go to the cowboy layer, take my magic wand tool here, select this area, hit shift command I, see we'll have to go to layer one here and press delete. And then I'll rename this TR for Teddy Roosevelt. Okay, I'll hit command D to deselect. Let's close that image and let go to money.jpg, take the move tool, move up to American Knight poster, move it down and drop it right here. I'll hit Command T to transform and we're going to resize this quite a bit. Take this in even more. Let's see here. Maybe not. I don't know if I want to see that text. Let me pull this back out. I'm going to go with that. So I'll press return, rename this layer to money, and then I'll go to my cowboy layer, take my magic wand tool, select, select this area, hit shift command I to invert the selection, switch to my money layer, and hit delete. All right, so let's hit Command D to deselect. I'm going to close the money image. I'll go to Ford Galaxy. Take my move tool. I'll move this up to American Night Poster, and then I'll move it down. Let go. I'm just going to place this. So now I'm going to go to the Cowboy layer, take the Magic Wand tool, select this layer, Shift Command I, and then go to Layer 1, press Delete. Double click on this, call this Ford. Okay. Hit Command D to deselect, and we have one more to go. So I'll close the Ford Galaxy image here. I'm going to go to Jackie Robinson, take the Move tool. I'll move this up to American Night Poster, move it down, let go. And then I'm going to hit Command T to transform this. Okay. All right, we'll do something like that. And then I'll rename this to JR. Go to the cowboy layer, take my magic wand tool, select. Shift command I to invert the selection. I'll press delete. 
And now we have all of our images for our cutouts here. So now I'm going to create a new layer. So I'm going to click on this new layer button here. I'm going to call this shadow. And I'm going to use my, I'll click on the paint bucket, switch to the gradient tool here. I'm going to click on this gradient right here, not the first one, but the second one. Make sure that's selected. Switch so that the black color is on top in your color picker. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the gradient tool to create um, some shadows going around the, the border of the image here. And because I have this selected to um, black to transparency, we'll still be able to see the image in the center here. So right now I need to invert my selection. So I'll hit Shift Command I to invert the selection. And then I'll take the gradient tool and I'll just click on the outside right here and drag in. And it'll give me a shadow. I want to make sure that I don't see the seams of this image. So I'll just keep dragging until I can hide that. You can kind of see a little bit of it right there, but I'm not worried about that. Okay, so this looks pretty good. And what I need to do now is switch to the cowboy layer. I need to switch to my magic wand tool, so I'm going to hit W. I'll select this layer, and then I'll go back to shadow. And then I'm going to hit G for my gradient tool. And I'll just do the same thing here. I'm just going to add a gradient on all four corners here. Something like that. Go back to the cowboy layer. I'll hit W for my magic wand. Select this. I'll hit G for my gradient tool. I'll go to the shadow layer. And I'll just fade. It's a little too much right there. Okay, that looks good. Go back to the cowboy layer. I'll hit W for my magic wand. I'll select this section. Then I'll hit G for my gradient tool. I'll switch to the shadow layer here. I'll add in these shadows on the corners here. And then I'll go to the cowboy layer. Hit W for my magic wand to select. Hit G for my gradient, switch to the shadow layer. Okay, that looks good. I'll go back to the cowboy layer. Hit W for my magic wand, select this section. Hit G for my gradient, go to the shadow layer here. And we'll just add in a little bit of shadows here, here. It's a little too much right there. All right, maybe a little right here. No, it's gonna interfere with our characters. Okay, that looks good enough. Maybe one little shadow down here. Okay, there we go. All right, I'm gonna go to the cowboy layer. I'll hit W from a magic wand tool. And I want to fill this in with black here. So I'm going to go to the flag layer, take my uh, paint bucket tool here, fill this in. And then I'll go to the shadow layer. I'll switch back to the gradient tool and I'm going to add in gradient here on the sides here. There. Hmm. Let's see here. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, let's go to the cowboy layer and I'm going to go to my flood fill or my paint bucket tool. And I'm going to add a layer for the legs here. So I'll just create a new layer. Call this legs. 
Go to the cowboy layer. W from a magic wand, select, hold down shift, select. So I've got both of these legs selected. And then I'll hit uh, G, switch to the legs layer, and I'll fill this in with black. So now I'm going to zoom out and take a look at what I have. I'm actually going to turn off the visibility on our mask right here. And now I can see we've got just the cutouts that we created. Hit Command D. That's a little bit of um, stuff going around the edges here, but we're going to add some effects to that. So that's okay. So at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to merge all of these layers together including the shadow layer. So I'm going to hit Command E. And we'll just call this Cutouts. All right. And then I'm going to change my background layer to black. So I'll take my paint bucket, fill this in with black. And what this is going to do is it's going to make our silhouette no longer recognizable. But we'll go to the cutouts or our silhouette here, and I'm going to add some effects to this. So I'm going to click on effects and go to outer glow. I'll change the color here to a blue color. And let's take, uh, I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. I take the size of the glow and bring it up. I'll bring the spread up a little bit. That looks pretty good. All right, so now let's go to stroke. I'll click on the, the settings for stroke. I'm going to go to color here, change this to white. And I'll increase the size of the stroke just a little bit here. Oh, that's too much. Let's come, come back a little bit here. Okay. That looks good. Hit Command minus here. All right, now let's add in our title at the top here. So I'm going to go to my text tool. And I'm going to click and drag a window up here. And let's see, let's choose our text color. It's going to be a very light blue, almost white. Just a tiny blue tint to it. Okay. And at the top here, I've got my font set to 60 point. I'm going to type in Oak Tech Rep. And then I'll put a space in, we'll type presents. And then I'm going to press return. And right here, I'm going to change the font from Arial. I've downloaded a font off the internet, off of defont.com. And it's going to be Neuropol. I'll change my font size to maybe 150. Oh, it looks like our font is not taking, but I'll just type it in. American. Let's see here. Okay. So I'll take this. I'll type in a new font, maybe 150. And then I'll take my font right here. Where is it? I want to go a little bit larger on this, so I'm going to change this to 200. I'm going to go down to 180, I think. Maybe that would be good. That looks good. So I'll switch to my move tool here. So here we go. I've got my text up here. And now uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an effect to this. So I'll go down to my effects and go to, once again, outer glow. I'll change the color here to blue. And increase the size here. All right. 
it. So I need to move. I need to zoom in on my text to see this. So we want. We just want like a neon light kind of effect here. And I think I'm going to go a little bit lighter on this. That's too light. Come back a little bit here. Okay. Let's take a look at the spread here. All right, let's take a look at that. Just zoom out here. All right, that looks good. So now I'm going to add some text down here at the bottom. So we'll create a new text layer. We'll click and drag right here. And I'll change my font size. We'll change it back down to 60. Six zero. And then I'll change my font type back to, let's see, I think I was on Arial. So now we'll type in, type in directed by, let me zoom in here. Directed by, we'll just say, put in a generic name. I'm going to put the name in caps. Type the space bar, let's say maybe five times. One, two, three, four, five. And then we'll put in, we'll put in choreography by. And then I'll say Jane Jackson. So then I'm going to type in technical, technical director, Fang Joe, and then we'll put in one, two, three, four, five costumes by Sarah Chavez. And let's see, I'll roll down here and I'll press return. And let's press return one more time. We'll put in March 14, 15, 16 at 7 p.m. And I'll put in a space and a divider here. And then I'll put March. March 16 at 2 p.m. I'll put in a space here and then we'll put in OTHS auditorium. I'll put in a divider here. 42nd and Broadway. Press return twice and then I'll put in pre sale. Presale is eight dollars or five dollars with ID. Put in a space and we'll put um, at the door. It's going to be ten dollars or eight dollars. Let's see here, eight dollars with ID. Put in some more spaces here, and then I think I'm going to get rid of spaces between these I'll move this down one two and then up here we're gonna do we have to put the author's name in here written by Richard Montoya this has got to be larger than the other text here so we'll go to 72, let's do 80. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna change this down to 48. I'll do the same thing with all the other 
titles here for who did what. That way the name of the person stands out a little bit more. Oops, 36, we don't want 48. All right, so now let's just uh, switch to our move tool here. And let's see here, I'm gonna Go to my text layer here, I'll hit the effects button here, go to outer glow, and we'll put in, so once again, we're going to need a blue glow, so I'll just select a blue color right here, and we'll change the size here, so I should zoom in on the text again here, change the spread. Something like this would be good. And then what I want to do is I want to fade up. I want to get rid of the legs down here. So let's work on the spacing a little bit here. So I'm going to take this text layer and I'm going to nudge it down. And then what I'll do is um, I'll just create a new layer. And this layer is going to be right above the cutouts layer. And I'm gonna take my paint bucket, switch to the gradient, and I've got black on top here, so I'm just going to click and drag straight up here to create my gradient. And now that kind of fades out. All right, so we are all done with this poster. When you save this file to the Dropbox, uh, please do not send a PSD file. I want you to save this as a PSD on your computer and then when you send a copy to the Dropbox I would like you to send a JPEG.